Hey, hey everybody, I'm Z Garcia, and today I'm going to be sharing some first impressions with you about Nagaraja. This is a game made just for two players in which the players are going to be playing cards, uh, gathering dice given by those cards, rolling them in an attempt to win a tile that they are going to put into their temple and explore that temple. But those cards can also be used not just for rolling dice, but also as special actions to mess with your opponent or to give yourself some uh, unique boosts in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how it all works together. And then at the end of that, I'll just tell you again some of my initial thoughts with the game. In the game, the players are going to be competing to 25 points. As soon as anyone has 25 points, they are going to win the game. But there's a couple of things that might happen that might eliminate them from the game, giving the opponent the victory. Each round, the players are going to be competing for one of these tiles here. So we'll go ahead and reveal one. At the beginning of every round, at the start, the players have a hand of five cards. And then starting from the guide, the player holding this token here... They are going to select as many cards as they want to from their hand that have a matching symbol at the top, and they are going to play those cards. So, for example, I might uh, play these two cards here. My opponent would take a look at their hand, and they are going to play uh, these two cards, let's say. Um, yeah, they'll play those two. And then we reveal those, and the only thing we're looking at is the uh, dice sticks that we are going to be rolling. So I reveal mine, and I would gather what I get, which in this case is four of these white ones and one green. My opponent is going to get one of the brown ones, four white, and a single green. And then we are going to be rolling these. So I'll just grab all of mine, and I would roll them like so. And these are going to show one of two things. They are going to show either coins or they are going to show these Naga symbols, that little snake there, which is going to allow us to activate cards. So there we go. So right now I've got, these are done, I've got, uh, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 coins. My opponent has 3, 6, 7, 8. Now I, starting from, uh, my, from me, because I have again the uh, token there, I could activate uh, one of my special abilities on one of my cards. However, I did not roll any of the Nagas, so I have to pass, and it goes to my opponent who is currently losing. So they are going to spend one of them and play a card. So they might play this card here that gives them, uh, and then we're looking at the bottom now, plus four points. That brings them up to, uh, what is it? See, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And uh, I have 9, 10, 11, 12, so they're matching me right now. Comes back to me, again, I have to pass. They'll spend another one, and they are going to play this card, which gives them two more. They are currently winning. Comes back to me, I again have to pass, and now they pass. If the players pass consecutively, we are done. This is gone, they didn't spend it, but that's okay. And they had more coins than I did, so they are going to win this tile. Now this tile is going to go into their display here, into their temple either adjacent to one of the entrances or adjacent to a previously played tile. So let's say they put it there. Now, this entrance is linked to this relic here, so they flip it right in place. And they now have four victory points. These are gone. And whoever lost is going to draw three cards. They are going to look at all three. They will keep two of them and give one to the opponent and we play a new round with again revealing a new tile if the tile has one of these symbols we're going to put one of these special little artifacts on it and uh, if a player links up to that one they'll be able to claim it and this is going to give you either a special uh, power or some victory points as well usually fewer victory points and we continue so we're going to be fighting over this tile now with again playing cards rolling the dice and uh, triggering special powers until, again, someone has 25 victory points. However, of all of these tokens, there are three that are cursed. They are sixes. So they're very strong, six victory points. But if you ever have all three of them revealed, you are eliminated from the game and your opponent is simply going to win. So you have to be careful about that. And these cards have all sorts of powers with letting you... Uh, 
discard cards from your opponent's hands. Draw a card from the discard pile. Move one of the tiles you have in your display. Uh, there's a symbol up here that lets you know if it's something that affects you or affects your opponent or possibly both if you have that choice. This one lets me draw two cards. This one lets me switch two of these tiles and uh, rotate a tile. This one allows you to put a volcano in your opponent's board. This volcano is going to uh, block uh, the path. So it's a, it's a broken path in every single direction. Uh, this one lets you eliminate a couple of the dice sticks. Uh, this one lets you look at one of these treasures. That works either for you or for your opponent. So you can look at one of theirs or you can look at one of your own. Uh, as I said, all sorts of different abilities. And that's basically it. You continue that very simple procedure until someone is the winner, either by getting to 25 or by being eliminated. So there you go. That gives you an idea of how the game works. That's Nagaraja. This game isn't quite out yet, and what I have here is not exactly a final production, so I'm not going to review it just yet. This is why I'm calling this a first impressions video. But those impressions are very strong. There's a lot in this game that I really, really like, and I can't wait to uh, get my hands on a final production so I can do a proper review of it. But for now, I will say that I, uh, I very much love two-player games, and this one gives me a lot of interesting choices. There's a lot of luck in the game, that's for sure, with the rolling of the dice, the cards that you draw, all of those things lead to a lot of luck, but there's also a lot of fun, exciting moments in the game. Uh, moments in which uh, you are able to, again, use those cards to, uh, you know, uh, change the winds, so to speak, and, and pull a victory out when it looked like you wouldn't be able to. There are a lot of neat connections you can make on your board. There's a lot of sort of take that element you can force upon your opponent. If they are making a lot of connections and they seem to be pulling ahead, well, if you find a way to connect up all three of their cursed tiles, you can make them lose, even when they were about to win. They could be very close to winning, but if they've got two of those revealed sixes, they better be careful, because you might be able to, through c clever card play, give them the third one and, you know, uh, make, make them uh, lose the game through that clever card play. So there's a lot going on. I also love the look in the game, and the theme is cool as well. This is, I've always enjoyed this sort of, you know, uh, Tomb Raider kind of vibe that this game has. I like that in board games. And the look is just fantastic. As your little board develops, the card art, all of that just looks great. Again, I can't really talk about the components just yet because uh, that's not quite final. Though the dice that are in this are really neat and they're really fun to, to roll and mess with. So I like that a lot. So my first impressions here are very positive. I cannot, uh, like I said, wait to play this some more and to uh, check out a final version of it so that you can get your hands on it as well. So there you go. That's Nagaraja. Very positive first impression. And I'm looking forward to more. Thanks for checking this out with me. I'm going to see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.